Are you still close with Jennifer and Liam? Like, when was the last yeah. time you guys talked? I, I actually, I saw, I saw Jen um, during quarantine. Big news for you to celebrate because the Hunger Games franchise is coming to streaming on Tubi. Yeah. Yeah. What was the last time that you watched those movies? Uh, well, actually, I've only seen each of them one time and it was at the first premiere of each of them. I have not gone back and watched them. Uh, Why which not? Is, They're good movies. I mean, I, I know, that's the thing. They're good movies, but also I'm in them. And so that's that's where I run into the problem is I don't want to see myself on the screen. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's hard, but honestly, I think enough time has passed. I think that I'm, I've grown as a person enough in a way to be able to watch them with a, a step removed and yeah. forgive myself for anything I don't like. <laughs> Um, and maybe just maybe just enjoy the film. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy they're streaming though now uh, on Tubi and it's free, which I think is really cool. What is the most surreal moment you have of that time kind of looking back? I mean, the first one premiered in 2012. The final one I think came out about five years ago. I mean, I guess the whole thing is surreal. Um, you know, I remember actually before we even, <clears throat> before we even stepped foot on set to start shooting, um, they held like a fan event in LA at like a, a mall or something. And uh, I remember me, Jen and Liam, it was like the, the first time they were like introducing all the cast to the fans. And we were sitting up in this room, like hair, makeup or whatever. And you could, there's like a window and you could look out and see the fan area with like the stage. And there were so many people. And they didn't even know if the movies were going to be good. They didn't even know if they were going to like us or not. But it was just the, like they, they loved the series of books so much that they wanted to be a part of like the, the movie process. Yeah. Um, and that was really surreal and kind of the first moment of what is this? Like what world are we stepping into? Do you still think that Katniss and PETA should have ended up together? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> I do. I do. I think, you know, I mean, I think, look, uh, Life is complicated. Love is complicated. Um, Katniss was really busy dealing with a revolution to be too co concerned with these boys. And uh, she was too busy trying to fight for justice and freedom. Um, but ultimately, I know that uh, that Peta's love for Katniss was uh, extremely profound and deep and, and caring and, and, and vice versa. So I'm happy they ended up together. I want to show you something. This is from okay. the first. Hunger Games Junket. I've definitely never been part of something that had so much hype before we even started uh, shooting the first frame of the movie, let alone now it's about to come out. Um, it, it's exciting and it's slightly, you know, nerve-wracking. From day one, Liam and Jennifer and I hit it off right away. I think that we kind of formed this little group because we were sort of in it, all of all of us together. Um, and we were like going to Walmart and like random little adventures before we even started shooting. So we uh, we bonded quite heavily, for sure. What is it oh, man. for you to watch that? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> It takes me right back. I, I remember that trip to Walmart perfectly. It was in Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> Liam was like, oh, what's a Walmart night? And we're like, oh, we're going to show you what a Because Jen's from Kentucky. I'm from Kentucky. So it's yeah. like Walmart was the place to go. Wait, Liam, do um, you know what a Walmart was? He had never experienced it. He may have been playing dumb Australian. I don't know what he was doing. He was being Liam. <laughs> and uh, and so, yeah, we, we went to Walmart. And, you know, we went down to like a creek and went like crawdad fishing and we had a leech, I had a leech stuck to my hand and Jen lost her mind and it was just, yeah. I, 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 I'm like, I can transport directly back to that whole, that whole time, it's crazy. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, Are you still close with Jennifer and Liam? Like when was the last yeah. time you guys talked? I, I actually, I saw, I saw Jen um, during quarantine. We got to have de dinner together toward the end of, I guess it was like midsummer maybe. We had a, a nice socially distanced dinner together. Um, which is good to catch up with her because she's been off living her life in other places all over the world. Yeah. Um, and I saw Liam, I think towards the end of last year, but then this year I think he's been off in Australia. Um, so I haven't gotten to see him yet. But we, 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 we catch up every time we can. Um, I got to see Woody not too long ago too. So it's, it's, it's good. No matter how much time passes, once we re, like, see each other again, it's just instantly you know, right back to where it was. When you look at where your career has gone, where Jen's career and Liam's career has all gone, I mean, what is it like for you to sort of see how you guys have all 
kind of exploded and come into your own path. It's great. I mean, we all knew, you know, from the beginning that that Jen was uh, was destined for for greatness. You know, she had so such a special everything about her, and as a as a performance, as a person, as everything. Um, you know, so so we all we I remember when she got nominated for an Oscar, we were actually shooting, and everyone was just so excited for her, so proud, and. Also, kind of like, of course, like, that's, yeah. of course, of course. Um, so it's it's been great just to see everyone's you know different paths and trajectories. And I think like, as an actor, kind of when you do a, something like The Hunger Games, it, it is difficult to to break out of that, and it's difficult to to not get boxed in. And and you know, for me, I've been very cautious about doing anything that I I thought was it wasn't what I wanted to be doing. And and you know, like maybe there was a a set path that I could have sort of followed that would have led me to a different place, but that's not what I wanted to be. And and Peter always said, don't become a piece in their game. And so for me, I was always very steadfast and I'd rather not work and wait until I can find kind of the kind of actor and the kind of projects that I that I wanna that I wanna be and wanna do. There is um, a Hunger Games prequel that was greenlit and I know that it takes mm -hmm. place pre PETA time. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think of that news, first of all? I think it's great. I mean, I think like, I don't know anything about it, uh, like story-wise, but if it has to do with understanding how we got to the world of the Hunger Games, then I think that's going to be super interesting. I would like Peter to be in it because I would like to be with these people again and work work more in that world. Um, but, yeah, that's I, I was going to yeah. ask you, like, would you revisit the role of Peter if there was a way for them to shoot like fast forwards or something? For sure. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yeah, it'd be great. I, I, I love that whole cast crew. If they can get some of the same people involved, uh, no question.